is Shamus here bringing you video today. We're doing what if Deku was tra trained by Charmcaster from Bentown on the US. So let's get this started. Let me set timer and go. By the way, um, the next video you're gonna see is after this one, it's gonna be what if Deku was. Let's check see which one was it. What if Deku was Blacklight Virus? Had the Blacklight Virus part two. So yeah. Now for that, that's gonna be a Dominus Rex. So yeah, sorry if I haven't been posting a Dominus Rex. I just been led busy with all these are what if. So Dominus Rex is gonna be after the Blacklight Virus. So yeah. So let's get this started. Let me yeah, I set that time right. No, wait. Let me just yeet. Uh, yeet. Start. We have Deku was trained by Charmcaster, part one. Let me get which image. I like this one mostly. Let's get this one. So we're starting off as Deku, mostly. I want to skip some of this because all that shit was filler. Everyone can agree that is filler sometime at the beginning. But mostly, well, let's get to the part where Deku is mostly walking home. He gets attacked. Not attacked by Sludge Villain, but he mostly sees Charmcaster. Charmcaster is thinking that she needs an apprentice so she can train somebody to, well, to defeat Gwen and Ben 10 and other people. She sees Deku. She immediately used her, well, magic talking sack thing to create two of these little golems. I'm just gonna call them golems because I do not know their fucking official name. Somebody can comment down below what their official name is, and I won't even. I will shut you out though for the next video I have. So yeah. I was really lazy to not do it. So, well, she just told her golems to go after that kid. Deku sees that he starts right, but, well, the golems grab him. Though, immediately on the ground trying to get these golems off for him. Saying that, what the hell are, who the hell are you? And, well, she just says that, well, my name is Charmcaster. And, well, I don't have a quirk like you idiots do have. I am mostly magic. Deku says that, wait, what? And says that, huh, idiot. Let me explain. Mostly magic is everywhere. There's most of your quirks are, if I had to say, against magic are weaker. She has some portal to well, Ledger Domain. Mostly she has a castle there. And she says that well, I'll be bringing you technically to my home. Deku says that yeah, the, the heroes are gonna find me and stuff, and say that she starts laughing. Says that the heroes won't find you. Only if a hero controls magic, they can come here. But the only hero that actually does have that is, well, nobody actually, except Gwen. Deku asks her who the hell is Gwen. She says that none of your business. So, well, immediately she uses a spell to mostly float Deku in the air and take him through that portal. So now then, immediately Deku sees and says, wait, where the hell are we? It says that we are in Le the domain, you idiot. There two little golem things come to. So, well, she explains that this is the source of all magic. And, well, it's really hard to get out of here if you don't have magical powers. I mean, until you're, like, Azmuth, though, then maybe. Or Ben Tennyson, or Gwen, and stuff. But, well, yeah. She just says to follow me, and Deku says, hell no, I'm not following you. Saying that, well, let me get this right. Let me say this. First thing, you're in Legend Domain, where I reign supreme here. You're somewhere where you don't know where the place is at, you don't know where anything is, and you might get killed. You want to take that chance, kid? Mainly Deku's thinking that, and he just follows her, and it says good. So, well, she uses a magical spell. Mostly is a spell to create armor. Not like this, but create mostly a stone arm out of that golem. She uses one of those golems to create a stone arm. Mostly it's like a shell, but it soon consumes the skin and stuff. So, well, she just tells... She immediately creates a few new more golems. Let's say five. So, well, those five golems immediately hold Deku down. Deku's saying, what, wait, what the hell are you doing? And she says that... This might hurt a little bit. So what? Well, she used her magic spell to get this little hand thing on him. You may call it handy. Yeah, I knew that joke was fucking too 
Why has nobody made a hand joke ever in mostly like Shigaraki seeing that? Like, say, hey, Shigaraki, are you handy, man? You're getting to send a great way. What? Oh. So, yeah. Technically, Shigaraki just the affinity stat, but like controlled and not like overpowered. Thanos, when he snaps the affinity gauntlet, I kill half the population by turning into dust. Shigaraki, I can touch you with five fingers and turn you into a dust. Says, we're brothers. Oh. But, yeah. So up, she puts this little casting on him. It eats through his entire skin and his mostly bone structure. Deku immediately gets up after those guns get off and says, What the hell is this anyway? Saying this is, well, if I had to say it right, it's like a tracker. Mostly allows you to use magic, but there's a price. Mostly, you really don't use how, know how to use magic yet. So if you sort of fired a beam at me, it really wouldn't do anything, because I am s stronger than you at magic, smarter than you at magic, and way powerful. Saying that this thing will allow me to find you wherever you go, if you try to escape, though. It's like a kidnap situation, mostly like, level 34, yeah. Deku says that, haha, you just mostly gave me, like, a real stone thing, though. Millie, he immediately... Punches the golems behind him and says that, haha, I'm gonna leave. So he starts running. She starts saying, great. So, well, she used the magical spell on that arm thing. And immediately, well, shocks Deku. Says, ow, this fucking hurts. And he starts, like, screaming stuff. She immediately starts laughing saying that, you idiot, remember. That thing has, well, a few tricks on it. I told you if you try to escape me, well, this will happen. No, well, she says that, well, that arm on you, mostly, is, well, a tracking device, and it allows you to use magic and some earth to use things I won't tell you. But, well, if you leave my facility for 10 feet, though, or something, immediately the magic spell will activate to immediately shock you. So don't think of trying to escape. So, well, she immediately stops the magic spell from shocking Deku, and, well, she says, come on, you're already late anyway. So, well, they get there under a few hours. Now, let's get back to the real world. Immediately, Inko's calling police and telling her her child's not there and stuff, so police come over and say that all this shit, though. And they say that we can't find him, but we'll continue to look for him and stuff. Mostly, Inko asks Bakugo's mom, and Bakugo's mom says that, Hey, Bakugo, yes? Says that, have you seen mostly your friend Midoriya? And says that he's not my friend anyway. He's a quirkless loser. And, well, she just says that, have you seen him, yes or no? Says that, mostly, I only saw him after class, though. And that's it. And, well, she says, Kats Katsuki, if you did something to Midoriya, I will hurt you. She's saying, no, I, have, I haven't done anything to that Corkless loser. So let's get back to Deku. Deku, sorry. So, well, she's saying that, well, uh, great, this charm caster I'm speaking as her. She's saying to Deku that, well, uh, this is mostly my castle. And there's a lot of stone, stone golems here and some others. Those stone golems I mostly hold you down with were like the lowest class of them. All these other ones are more powerful. So, yeah. So, I will be teaching you magic here. And Deku says, wait, you'll be teaching me magic? He's saying, yes. You really don't need that stone thing on you, but, well, I want to keep it on you for good reasons. Mostly so you don't try to escape. So, well, she just says that, well, I'll be showing you where you'll be sleeping at. Mostly, she shows him a little dungeon area where you just have a a bed connected to chains, and, well, that's it. She says that that's where you'll be mostly living at. So, well, she just kicks Deku in there and says that that's where you'll be for a while. So, she uses a magic lock to keep it closed. Deku's thinking that shit. So, I'm somewhere in some place called Ledger of the Main. A crazy bitch, though. And she has weird stone golems, and she has a quirk. Immediately, Charmcaster heard that and say that I'm not a crazy bitch, you know, and says that, yeah, yeah, you fucking pedophile. So, well, she immediately walks down there, because she was, like, going up the stairs a little bit and she them. Says that, what the heck, you just called me, kid? And saying that, what, I just called you a pedophile, because you're 
technically kidnapping children. So she unlocks the door. She merely uses a magic spell like force choke holding him, saying that, listen here, kid. I can kill you right now if I wanted you, and mostly you dead, but I don't want to do that, because, well, when you're mostly ready to mostly come back with me and stuff, we'll be doing some few things. But for now, you'll be stuck here for a while. And saying that if you call me a pedophile one more time, I will rip every single body part off of you, reattach you with different things, and throw your body parts into, like, the abyss of Ledger Domain. Do you understand? Deku says yes, though, and so if she stops force choking him, or, like, m m magic force choking some bullshit, so yeah. That's better. So, yeah. So, whoop. She says good. So she used the magic lock again to keep Deku in there. It's like a dungeon area. So, well, she's just thinking that that kid's fucking aggravating. But she has mostly Deku's stuff. And she goes through it. She's mostly seeing Deku's, like, uh, hero notes. She says, huh, he's actually really good at writing stuff, though. And notes down. Huh. He's actually a great apprentice, though. So, well, she's just mostly keeping these with her. Because she will, A, destroy them, maybe. Oh, so yeah. By the way, regular show was the best. Just saying. If you thought regular show was shit, go to hell. Just saying. You say that in my comment section, you'll see what happens when Papa Strike comes in, rapes her, and then forces you on the bed. And slurp it for 10,000 years. That's sus. I actually like this mod, too, of, it, of her. Actually, he's really good. But they just... Don't have the bag thing. I just don't like that. That one's the best. Hey, Ben, you look like a skinny fuck over there. You need to get some real stuff. This is my actually favorite one, so I'm going to be using this for a little while. So, yeah. So, up well, a few hours later, and Charm Kessa comes down there. So, that kid, wake up. And Deku wakes up and says, what is it? Saying that your first lesson is going to be training right now. He says, really? He said, yeah, remember... So she uses her magic lock to unlock it, and she immediately tells Deku to come on. So, well, she asks him what's his name exactly, and he says that his name is Zuka Midoriya. Mostly his friend Kachan calls him Deku. Says that, huh, I'll just be calling you Deku anyway. Saying that, well, the first lesson is mostly using your magic. So she set up a few items on there, saying that, well, if you can't do this, something will happen to you. And you don't want to know what happens. And he says, fine, crazy lady. And she says, oh yeah, I forgot. So she snaps her fingers and immediately something like gets on Deku's mouth and he can't speak. It's like, you know how people like try to sew up your mouth? Like, it was a weird thing where people actually sewed up your mouth for some reason? It was like that. What the magic things. Deku tries to like, tries the same thing, but she's saying, oh yeah, I forgot. You can see call me a crazy bitch, calling me a pedophile and stuff, so I won't let you talk for a while, until you earn it back. So, well, Deku does not do the magic spell. Jimmy shocks him with that little arm thing, though, and he finally does it. So, well, he actually forms a little energy attack. He throws it at this little, let's say it's a golem. And, well, he blows off his head. She's so saying that's good. And saying that to well, just blow off these R2 heads, and then we'll do the second lesson. So he does. Okay, second lesson. It's mostly teaching Deku how to use, well, spells. She says this is the easiest spell, though. Mostly you just have to say this incantation. Oh, wait, I forgot. You can't speak. Hmm. I'll let you speak for a while. But if you say anything shit about me, I'll just put the, mostly put that magic spell back on you. She says, fine. I mean, she says, well, she does it, and he starts saying thanks. And she's saying, aw, thanks. And she's, she says, you're welcome, by the way. I mean, says, thank you, shit. I'm, I'm getting fucking lazy at these writing. I'm so sorry, guys. I should just write this shit down, though, and just fucking write it down. But I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking lazy. I'm sorry. Bully me if you want my comment section below. I will admit to your punishment. The saluting to pop 
Bob and Housemaster equals Poppy House. Bob House. So yeah. Wait, couldn't you just technically download TV2T's file, then technically you just go on the map, find the bases, uh, copy the coordinates, go on your TV2T account on like the TV2T community, go to the base, bomb the base, and that's it. Technically you could do that. So like technically Housemaster might want to stop people from downloading the fucking map though, because that can be a really exploit move. You can technically make your own survey in TV2T and say that, hey, this is the bootleg TV2T. We have rules here. Clean up TV2T. But yeah, let's continue on. So this this spell is mostly to make things float. So Deku does it the first time, but he screws up. She says, "Well, this is what happens when you screw up a spell." So well, the arm mostly shocks Deku. He says, "Ouch! Fucking hurts." Says it pulls her kid. And well, she says that well that arm you have though. Remember, it's mostly made of that golem stuff. And if you try to break it, it will immediately... The golems will immediately try to break yourself to, to use a chunk of them. Will immediately form back on your arm to fix it. So don't think of trying to destroy it. Because it will just reconnect to you. He says, fine. I'm not going to do that anyway. So he does it a few more times. He screws up and gets shocks. And he finally does it the final time though. Makes this golem float. I'm mostly using golems for this, like, D-class and stuff. So, well, she teaches him how to reverse the spell. So he does. Wait, let me just... Sorry if I'm doing this, but something's on my screen I had to get off. So, yeah. So, well, after they do a few more spells... Mostly Charmcaster is hungry. And Deku is, too. Mostly she says, are you hungry, though, kid? And he says, yeah. So, well, she creates two hot dogs. Mostly using a teleportation spell. So, well, she just says, that's what you're gonna get eat. That's what you're gonna get for a while, though. Mostly if you deserve it, anyway. Mostly you've been listening a lot, so you did deserve this. So, after the deck is eating that hot dog though and stuff, and she's done eating that, too, she just says that, well, let's get to the next lesson. Deku is thinking his mind saying, Oh great, not a fucking her less anyway. Charmcaster was reading his mind, says that great. She immediately stares at him and says that you know I can read your mind and says, Wait, how? Saying that mostly this place has magic, remember? Mostly reading minds as well. Really easy here. And well, you haven't mastered that spell yet. Or I see ability. And, well, I read your mind when you said that, oh, great, we're gonna have to do a nurse spell or stuff. She immediately says that, well, with that arm, I can technically control whatever you could do, though. And, well, she forces Deku to punch himself one time. Says, ow, oh, my fucking nose. Says that, see, that can happen to you if you try to talk shit about me again. Now, next time you're gonna say something bad about me, I want you to say something good. You got it, kid? He says, fine. So the next lesson is mostly how to summon your own weapons. So, well, it's mostly like, damn, let me try and get some, wait, do I have a, sorry guys, this is so bright for you. Ah, oh, shit, that's way bright, sorry. Mm-hmm, just, no, not yet. Mostly, yeah, that's better. Charm casters. Bell. Huh. I mean, charm caster, you're not thick. Just saying. I mean, if I had to say who was the thickest character, then <laughs> it would be um that person that can just stretch, though. You know. You know that one. So, yeah. Ew. Get that? No. Fight back to the... We got the power to assault all these Japanese people that are eating our kind. 
By the way, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. He created the he created the sixth fifty. The dabber. So yeah, let's continue on. Sorry for all those jokes. So well, you can see on this it mostly has symbols on it. Mostly erase the Omnitrix thing though, is that symbol. Mostly she teaches them how to mostly well summon her his own weapon. Saying that you need to create your own weapon first. So what well, she takes them to the place she creates her own weapons. Scythe swords, um other types of weapons, knives, uh bows and stuff. Saying that well you choose a weapon, kid. Deck is saying really and say, yeah, mostly all these size swords and all these other types of weapons are mostly activated by spells. And well, they're just regular stone weapons you don't know the spell. She merely floats down a weapon for Deku and say that here. It's mostly a tiny knife, but well, that knife can't do anything to me because he merely tells her to throw something at her. And he does. He throws that knife at her. Emilia energy barriers around her, saying that, see, it's mostly connected to her and saying that you can't hurt me because I have an energy barrier around me. Because I thought of you trying to, well, if I brought you here, you would take a weapon, try to stab me or kill me or something, and try to figure out a way to get out here. And, well, she says, am I correct, though? And says that, well, I would have done that anyway. And she says, I knew it. Says that you'll get better weapons over time. So, yeah. By the way, is, um... So, this is what happened if Charmcaster took over De I mean, Ben's body. Huh. The pink Omnitrix. Erase it. Kill it with fire. Kill it. Kill it with fire. No. Just joking, guys. Please do not ever do that, though. The Nematrix, the Omnitrix. The Nematrix is my favorite, by the way, so, yeah. So that's what will happen, huh? So, well, immediately she says, okay, so you have that knife. So she says that, well, here's the, she says, here's the summoning spell. So she does it, and she summons her little staff. You can tell the staff is, it's mostly, well, let me just show you, it's this staff right here. And, well, she summons and says, here, this is my mostly staff. And, well, Deku copies the exact same thing. He mostly floops a few times and she shocks him. He tries to not try to do any more errors until he does it on the first try. I mean, mostly does it in the second try. And he finally summons his little knife. And she says, good. So, well, she says that, well, hmm. You don't say anything for a while, so I think I should just keep you quiet. And while well, she uses the spell to keep Deku, well, quiet. So Deku's mad because he can't say any shit about her. But he can't technically say his mind, but he'll just get shocked. And she says, oh, are you mad or something? Well, just say it then. Deku's getting more mad because she just fucking mocked him. She really didn't have to do this, but she wants mostly to get Deku provoked. So, well, she just says that, oh, are you going to hit me or something? And he tries to. Mostly with his little knife. He really doesn't do anything because the shield immediately breaks Deku's knife. Saying that, well, great. So she uses a magical spell called, well, Energy Cage. Creates a little cage around Deku. And he says, and he's thinking, what the hell? Looks like an energy cage, though. Says that, well, huh. I thought you were different, though. I thought you would just... Submit or something. At least do whatever I say. But no, you did. And that's the one thing about you. I already read over your mind though. And see that you never for you never gave up. And well, she says to Deku that. Well, I'll just break that never giving up though and stuff. Immediately Deku's arm does. It shocks Deku. Really badly. Until he's like on the ground though and stuff. So, well, the knife did break, though, and say that, well, Charmcaster takes off the shield of mostly that cage. And she just goes to Deku and just says, shut up anyway. Because, well, 
Deku can't speak at all. Because thanks to that spell. So that's, well, that's what you get for mostly trying to attack me. And you'll be mostly, well, I'll provoke you over and over until you mostly attack me again, do all this shit again, and repeat the process until you stop. So up she mostly unshocks Deku. And this hurt really badly, because his arm feels like it's mostly numb. So, well, she says that, great. Now to teach you a nurse spell. So, well, she teaches Deku how to use the teleportation spell. But, well, she has... You're going to say why he just learns the teleportation spell and teleports out there. It takes a lot of energy to... Or mana, they call it in the Benton universe, to teleport between dimensions. A lot of it, though. Opening a portal is easy, but teleporting between the two is harder. And well, after Deku learns the lesson though how to teleport, he tries to teleport back to his home. She says that don't think of trying to teleport to your home anyway. That's gonna like take so much mana out of you. He tries to do it, but it doesn't. He just teleports across the room. And well, he's getting frustrated because he can't leave. She says you're gonna be asking why the hell can you not leave? Say that I have a magical barrier around here, making you can't teleport out of here. Well, my permission. Yeah, I haven't gave you that permission to teleport out of this dimension. And, well, she just says that, well, it's getting late anyway. So she creates a little portal under Deku, and he's really back in his room. Or technically his cage, or cell. So the magic spells off them. So, well, he's saying that great. So I can't teleport out here. I can't leave. This is a stupid stone arm. Figure out a way to summon any weapons. I can't really do anything because I only have a mostly a mostly a little knife though that broke, so I have nothing against my arsenal. So yeah. So well, he's like staying all this stuff though. So the next day, Charmcaster wakes up and wakes up Deku. Saying that, come on, we need to do some more lessons. And, well, she just merely puts that spell on him so that he can't speak. So, well, she teaches Deku how to summon his own food. And you're gonna say why the fuck she would teach him that, since she doesn't have to summon food over and over. And saying that, well, remember, if you want to teleport food, though, you're gonna have to ask me first, because the energy, mostly the barrier thing, though, stuff. So, well... She says, see, look. So, she snaps her fingers and immediately a hot dog's in her hand. And she says that this is how you do the spell. So, well, she teaches how the Deku to do that. You're saying, why the fuck am I making Deku overpowered? He isn't. Because technically, let's see. Deku can't teleport out here. That means he can't leave his dimension. Deku can't, well, fight Charmcaster because she's on a different fucking level. She's on the Vinny Justice level of Zamasu. By the way, Zamasu, you did nothing wrong. You should just don't do, uh, target Donald Trump. And then I would say nothing wrong here. So you target innocent white people and blacks. Not even, you didn't even target the idiots. Like the feminists that think black that black people are all men are all black. Damn it. Says so that all white people that say the N-word though. They should be immediately in jail. Or at least shot. Or in the leg. At least. Or being in the foot. Just target them in the foot. You know how they are. So yeah, let's continue on. So, well, immediately she says, see, so, well, Deku does it in the first try. She says, that, she says that's good. Seems that all that shocking, though, me, Deck, mostly him, mostly do whatever I say. Or something. So his brain is mostly reacting, saying that, hey, get this right. The first time, though. He gets it the first time right. Because he's been shocked so many times that, well, if he doesn't do it right, he gets shocked. But if he does it right the first time, then he doesn't. So, yeah. So, well, she teaches Deku how to, well, not create his own stone golem, but mostly how to create golems, though. But not, like, strongest stone golems. Because this site goes, in my way of. Charmcast is really strong, so all those stone golems are strong. And Charmcast trains a lot, and... 
Three leads to stone golems get strong too. So the strongest scar I mean, uh, charm caster is though the stronger the golems are at. I mean are so charm caster gets weak, the stone golems get weak. That's how it goes. She does something like getting stronger, the stone golems will get stronger. So yeah, she immediately says, "See the sight goes." So she says this chant though, and immediately a portal opens. What those symbols though? Emilia spots a stone golem. She says, "See, I mean, shit. What the fuck am I continuing to see? See, see, see. Sorry, but see, see. Fuck off, off my channel. You know who you are, see, see. You, you knew what you did at our school. You're a fucking racist and disgraced our black community. If you guys want to know what you did, I'll actually make a video saying that all the shit." I've, um, all the shit through my middle school life and my elementary school life. So yeah, there will be a video about that. So let's continue on. So well, Deku does on the first try. She says that that's good actually. You're mostly getting stuff right really quickly, kid. So well, the final lesson she teaches Deku though, saying that this is how you create mostly your own clothing. So well, she mostly makes these symbols that are in the sand. And well. It opens, and she just says that step through that thing anyway. Deku can't say anything because that thing on his mouth. He shakes his head though. She just says, "Do it, or I'll kill your mom or something." Deku's counting as a bluff and say that really. He mil she opens the portal though, and well, she's charging up a a mana attack, mostly like key attack or something. Saying that see, she says that look. Mostly, I'm aiming for your house, and your mom's in there. So, you go to that little thing, though, and I won't kill your mom. Deku reluctantly agrees to do it. So, up he gets these type of clothes. Yeah, but I think this is going to end off here, because I wanted to make a what-if Deku something. So, yeah, let's end this off, and goodbye.